Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how we can start working with links in our website. We're going to be talking about the basics of linking to other pages in your own site, as well as linking to off site. We'll even show you how to link things to open up in a new tab. So check it out. We're going to be talking about links right now. So today we're going to talk a little bit about the a or the anchor tag. Uh, the anchor tag is how you build links in your website. Now, we did a little bit of that when we wanted to link to a specific section of our website where we just uh, linked to an ID. However, now we want to link to an actual another page. Remember, we made our page um, this about page. Uh, we made about.html, and now we want to link to it. Now, inside of our header, let's go ahead and add our first link. We're going to do so with an anchor tag, which you saw before. So it's just an A. Now, the attribute that allows us to link to another page is href. And href is going to be equal to the location of another page we're going to be browsing to. Now, we're going to leave that as an empty string right now. And now we can go ahead and write about. And then let's close this, uh, this link off right now. So if we can come to our website, uh, we have nothing in there. However, you can see that instantly this link has been giving some default styles. It is underlined and it's currently purple. So there's some stuff that we're going to want to change. But as you can see, we have a link in our website now. Although when you click it, it does absolutely nothing. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a path to that. So what we want to do is we want to link to about.html. Okay, now let's come to our page and refresh once more. Now when we select this, you can see it has taken us to our About Me page. Okay, let's click the back button on our browser. So you now have your first working link. Now, what are some gotchas, some things you need to worry about? Well, in this example, the about.html, this file is in the exact same directory as our index. So therefore, it's looking on the same level for about.html. Now, some things you might see in links are forward slash. Now, forward slash about would say, go all the way to the root level and look for about.html. However, one thing you'll notice is that our website right now is just running as a file, right? This isn't running off of any sort of web server. So the root isn't our first site folder. It's actually way back over here. So when we refresh and we select the about link, you can see it's looking for a file at the root of our file system named about.html. Now, we'll go over this a little bit more as we talk about web servers and things like that. However, for now, since this file is just in our root directory, we can go ahead and just say about, like so. If this was going to be in this folder, let's say this is going to be in a pages folder, we could do pages forward slash about. Now, that would look for within our first site, it would look for the folder pages and then the about.html. So forward slash by itself means essentially go to the very root of the directory structure. If we have a dot dot here, it's going to say go back one folder. So this would look in the folder that contains first site. So again, we don't need to worry about this dot dot. We don't need to worry about this forward slash. We can just have about.html. Now, what about linking to another website entirely? Let's say we wanted to link to google.com for some reason. So we wanted to, let's copy this line, put google.com in here. So we can say Google, okay. Now the href in here is going to be the entire URL. So this is going to be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash google.com. Now, if you're linking to pages within your own site, you don't necessarily want to have that full URL on there all the time. It's probably best to have the relative URL here if you're just linking to another file. However, let's come to our page now and let's check out our Google link. We select this link. It changes our page to google.com. Uh, the, the problem is here is that when we selected that link, it took the user off of our page. Now, it's sort of common practice to whenever you're linking to an outside page, 
you open it up in a new tab. And if you're linking to an inside page, you open it up in that same window. So how do we open up a link in a new tab? Now, this is something you don't want to abuse. You don't want to throw this on every single page. Like I said, if you're linking off your site, it's a good idea. We can do that with the target attribute by saying target and target is going to be equal to uh, one of four values. Those four values being underscore blank, underscore parent, underscore shelf, and underscore top. So blank is going to be opening your link in a new tab. Self is going to be opening it in the same tab that uh, was it was clicked in. Parent will be linking from the parent frame and top will be linking in the entire uh, the window that you clicked it in. Now, some of these are totally antiquated because you may have heard the word frame in there. And last time I checked, websites have not been using frames in a very long time. So if I'm going to be honest, the only one I ever really use is underscore blank, like so. And that's going to open this up in a new window. So as far as target goes, you can memorize the other ones and what they do. However, target underscore blank is really the only one that you really need to know. So let's come to our page, refresh. Now when we select Google here, you can see it opens it up in a new tab while maintaining our previous tab. Cool. So that's all about links in HTML. You can link to other pages. You can open them up in new tabs. And as we saw in a couple of videos ago, you can link to content in your site. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. I love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.